let people get into the room here before we get going. So uh, we'll let you all funnel in here and we'll be right back with some beautiful music for you. I really appreciate you being here. I can't wait to share songs and stories with you. Give us just a minute to get set up. And while we're waiting, go ahead and share where you're tuning in from. Uh, we'd love to see how far the music reaches tonight. So uh, drop in where you're tuning in from. We'd love to hear from you. All right, we're good. Thank you guys so much for uh, for waiting. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started here with the Connection concert, which by the way, I am wearing my pajama concert and I put a hat on because I really need a haircut and also I wanted to dress up a little bit. Um, it's been an interesting couple of weeks for us all, uh, months even for some of us, and tonight it's all about bringing people together, uh, reaching out our arms uh, with practicing social distancing, and uh, sharing some music uh, that will bring us all together. I want to give a shout out first to some folks who have rallied support around this whole thing. Um, CSPS Hall in here in Cedar Rapids. Um, they are a wonderful organization that contribute a lot to the arts organization and um, actually do quite a bit in the world music genre. So we get to uh, experience a lot of world uh, music um, artists come through uh, here in Iowa. Also, Musical Echoes. Um, I'm really sad we're not going to be able to gather at Musical Echoes next weekend, so the songs I share tonight are for you, uh, all of you that were planning to attend Musical Echoes, and also Native Rhythms Festival, which is coming up in the fall, in November. And also a big shout out to our Facebook groups, uh, really love having that support around the Native American flute. Special shout out to the Native American Flute Musicians Group. Uh, Jay Michael and the gang there do a wonderful job. And also Native American Style Enthusiast, Native American Style Flute Enthusiast Group as well. It's nice to have such a wonderful um, community where we can all thrive together. So. I'm going to get to some music tonight. Uh, Maria's back here running some moderated. You want to jump up here? Those of you that don't know, this is the <laughs> videographer. So if you're watching on YouTube and Facebook, she's the lady behind all the video work on uh, the cover songs and original songs. We've had to take a little bit of a break just because we're trying to get through this, uh, but more coming. So Maria's going to be handling the chat room on both Facebook and YouTube. So. If you have specific questions and we don't get to you in time, be sure to visit me online and uh, we'll be sure to get back to you with those. All right, so with that said, all the songs that I play tonight, except for one improv because I haven't recorded it, you have access to get those MP3s for free. Uh, there is a link that has that um, available and you can put your email in and we'll send that to you. You can also enter to win a flute and my new Beginning Your Journey course. There's also a donate button on there if you feel inclined to donate. Um, I would very much appreciate it. So now I'm gonna play some music. By the way, um, I, I know I have a lot of flute enthusiasts in the crowd, so the flute that I play, I'm going to announce in what key it's in. So the first one to start with, this is a mid A flute made out of walnut 
from Rick Spitzer of Rain Spirit Flutes. Uh, the name of the song that I'm playing and starting with is called Chosen Path, and this is from my very first album. Here we go. Thank you. I can hear your applause. I really can. <laughs> we talked about this earlier. Maria was like, you know, hey, do you want me to clap, you know, when you, when you finish and stuff? And I don't know. It's, you know, whatever you feel like doing. 
By the way, um, that song, Chosen Path, and the next one that I'm going to share with you are both songs that I have released the backing track for, as well as have sheet music for on my website. So if you like either one of these two and you want to learn how to play it, I offer the backing track in five different keys and the sheet music, well, the sheet music you can play in any key. So we got you covered there. The next song is called Part of Me. And I thought about what songs I would play tonight, and I really wanted them to be um, special. All of my songs are special for different reasons, but this one tonight I'm going to play on my George Dyson bamboo flute. Um, George's shop caught fire a couple of weeks ago and just broke my heart, and I want to dedicate this song to him. Um, the name of the song is called Part of Me, and I believe in his... Um, I'm going to try not to cry here in his um, flute shop that he lost a part of himself uh, in there. But, you know, just like the, the phoenix rising from the ashes, I know that he's going to rebuild and it's going to be great and he's going to make beautiful, beautiful flutes. So um, if you have a George Dyson flute, um, play it um, and cherish it. This one's called Part of Me.
All right, thank you. Uh, a couple questions came up. Uh, what key is the flute? This is in the key of D, made by George Dyson, uh, by George Flutes, uh, made from bamboo. And the microphone that I'm using, is that the question? Mm -hmm. Oh, so the microphone that I'm using is a Shure SM58. Um, those of you that are curious about the gear here, um, so mic stand, mic cord, I've got a TC Helicon reverb pedal, and that goes, that gives me that nice little echo sound, or reverb. And then directly under our phones here, we have a Roland Street Cube pointing straight up, so um, we're just picking up the audio in the room here. So that's a, about as simple as our, our setup gets here. And got a couple extra lights over there. For this concert, we're bringing out some, uh, some bigger flutes, some lower tone flutes. And this next flute, um, in this next song, I'll play a flute made by Brad Young of Four Flutes. Uh, this one is made from Sassafras and it's in the key of low A. It has a beautiful tone to it. The name of this next song is called Down the Road.
really love to play the the lower flutes. They have such a uh, such a beautiful tone to them. Okay, I've got another George flute to use. Same flute, actually. Uh, <laughs> But uh, here we are with the, uh, the D flute, uh, bamboo flute again by George Dyson. Um, I shared this song. Um, I tried to um, share some new songs that were different than the live stream concert that we did uh, about three weeks ago or so. And uh, I wanted to offer you a new selection of music that you can uh, get for free, by the way. Um, so just visit that link and you're also entered to win a free flute. Oh, which by the way, that free flute, for those of you that didn't see the social media post, um, is this. It's in the key of A. It's made from cedar. It's called a little horse flute. It's got a little um, um, wood burning down here of a horse. And uh, sounds like this. So this is the flute that I use in the Beginning Your Journey um, course uh, that's launching next week. So uh, those of you that I know I've got many folks that have been emailing me about this and uh, just waiting to sign up for the course. So it is coming very, very soon. So you can do all of that on that one web page and uh, Maria will get it posted for you too. So this uh, next song is one that I played in my um, Totally Peaceful concert a few weeks ago, and I just really love this song. I wrote this song in, um, in Texas. I was um, on my way um, traveling, I was visiting with some friends, and I was just going through some rough stuff in my life uh, many, many years ago. And one of the things that I realized in this situation was um, I always prided myself on not having to ask for help. You know, my dad was that way, an old farmer. Uh, I grew up on a farm in Northern Florida and there's this pride with not asking for help. And, you know, also you don't want to inconvenience someone to help, uh, to ask for help. But I love being helpful. I think that's why a lot of us do um, charity work um, and volunteer places is because we really love to make an impact and we love to help and make a difference in people's lives. And sometimes it's just your friend next door. Um, and so I was at a place in my life where I just, I, I needed to reach out to a couple of friends just to talk about stuff, talk through things and get it off my, off my shoulders and out of my heart a little bit. And um, this song was, was written while I was traveling and having a hard time after uh, talking with a, with a good friend. Uh, the name of the song is called Reaching Out.
Okay. You know what? I want to I want to I want to peek in on you guys. So I'm going to take just a second. I want to look over here at the computer screen and I want to see all who's here. Who's here? Hello. Look at all you guys. This is so exciting. Welcome to um, where I make music. This is uh, normally, if you've seen videos on YouTube, I have a giant rack of flutes behind uh, that sit right here. And um, <laughs> it's, uh, I had to clear them out a little bit so, um, so we could make room for me to stand here and play music for you guys. So thanks for being here. I'm so, so glad you're here. So if you're watching this, I failed to mention this earlier, if you're watching this in playback mode, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook, um, last uh, the, the last live stream concert that I did, the audio got muted for some of the songs. They're my own songs, but um, the same policy that protects me kind of failed me on this part and I couldn't dispute it. I had no way around it. So know that if you're watching this in playback after the live, um, the audio may be muted. I am going to take a chance and play a couple cover songs at the end, so I hope you'll stick around for that. And I have no idea what will happen if they're going to mute those or put a claim on them. I don't know yet, so um, we're still figuring all this stuff out, but um, appreciate your patience with us. The next song comes by request. Uh, by many, but one in particular would be uh, actually, two in particular would be Sherry, Sherry Bunch, and Kunal. Uh, both are flute students of mine. Um, this is a song called The Warrior from my album Convergence. And um, this one, I, I mentioned last time that I write a lot of my music on the piano. And uh, I'm able to adjust chords and uh, timing and rhythm and melody, all of that at the same time. And then I'll transfer it over into the flute and go from there into production. And this one started that way. Um, I had a, um, a poem that my sister had written for me. And there were a couple of lines in there that really um, inspired me. And um, I'm the, the youngest of three. I have two older sisters. So growing up, I was, I was always, you know, picked on and, and, um, and stuff until I got a little bit bigger than they were and that stopped. But um, one of my sisters, Catherine, she wrote this poem for me and I, I hold it in my heart to the highest regard. It's, it's um, the line was, you are the warrior in my fairy tale. And that was as a brother, that's something that I held, even as a little brother, that's something that I held in my heart very dearly. And I would sit and play the piano. It was right above my piano in the apartment that I lived in many, many years ago. And I came up with this little melody and eventually it became the song that I'm about to play for you. This is called The Warrior. Oh, and by the way, the flute, I know many will ask. It's in the key of E. It's made from ambrosia maple. And the flute maker is J.P. Gomez of Heart Song Flutes. He is, uh, he is out of Sedona, Arizona.
How you guys doing out there? If you haven't already, if you haven't already, um, drop in where you're tuning in from. Again, like in the beginning, we love to see how far the music reaches. Ah, we've got a few more songs to go here. And uh, this next one is a really big song. I'm gonna need to take a, a little water break here. The last um, couple of days, well, I should say on Tuesday and earlier today, um, I gave some of my first um, virtual workshops, flute workshops. So the first one was perfecting those high and odd notes of your flute. And the second one was becoming more emotive in flute playing. So if I have any of you in the crowd here, uh, it's still kind of odd to you know say that to phones right here. <laughs> but if I have any of you in the crowd that took one of those workshops, um, I hope you're watching and listening very closely uh, to uh, what we're doing. And today I talked about a song where I focused on the um, more vibrato and volume differences. And this is definitely one of those songs where I'll be using a lot of that um, variance in technique. So this is in uh, the key of G sharp. It's kind of an odd key for a flute. This one's made by Craig Chan. Uh, this flute was actually made in Australia. Craig is from Australia. I don't know if he's still making flutes. Um, I think he went by a couple of different names um, for his flute company, uh, Six Bear Flutes, but I maybe Earth Song Flutes as well. And uh, this flute is made from Jara Wood. The name of the song is called Promised Moments.
Thank you. So if there are any flute players is in the crowd, which I know there are several, how many flutes do you think are in my collection? Go ahead and drop a number, any number, um, into the comments. There's, I don't have any anything to give away as a contest. It would just be fun to do. <laughs> so um, guess how many flutes are in my collection? And you know what? I think I might even have to count and get back to you because I recently acquired some new flutes. <laughs> Speaking of newly acquired flutes, this is one of them. Uh, this is a flute in the key of B. Um, it's a, a low B flute. It's made from walnut, a beautiful piece of walnut. You can't really see all the grain in this lighting, but when you get it in the natural lighting, like outside, it just really comes to life. Uh, this is a new flute from Wood Sounds. Um, it's an essential flute. And I'm going to um, play this along with an ambient major pad. So these are ambient pads that I developed um, a year or so ago. And flute players love playing along with these. And I think you'll find out why, because they just add this layer of soothing, uh, like a soothing drone almost underneath of the flute. So this is the little improv area, the little improv piece that I um, kind of put into the set here. So this one's not included in all the downloads that you'll get. You'll get every other song that I played and the ones to come, but this one's not part of it. Um, we talked about doing a project with the flutes and the pad and maybe some guided meditation and things like that uh, with Maria. Uh, but we'll see how it uh, we'll see how it goes. So this is uh, again a B flute with a D major pad. My mic stand, look at this, guys, it's going crazy. <laughs> Gonna have to do something with my tech guy. It's me. <laughs> okay, here we go. So in this, I invite you to just take a moment to breathe, just to be present, just to release. I know there's a lot of craziness right now, a lot of what if, a lot of fear, a lot of things that can take a lot of your energy and time and well-being. So tonight we want to restore that. Um, so this is to you.
feel like I need to be really quiet all of a sudden. You guys hanging out? You doing good out there? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> So I'd like to share another song with another really big flute. This one's really cool. Check this out. So in the uh, Totally Peaceful concert, I played the smaller version of this um, style of flute. This is a drone flute. It's a Mayan harmony drone flute. It's really wide because it has um, two different barrels here. And so I have a bass A and a low D or mid-range D over here on, on my left side. There are two thumb holes in the back here as well. This is made from Spanish cedar and it's made by Brad Young of Four Winds Flutes. The song that I'm gonna share with you uh, with this flute is called Hunt of the Nighthawk. And I realized I was looking back through my um, Facebook memories today and um, this time a year ago, Migration, um, an album that I did last year, was getting ready to release. And uh, we put a lot of effort into, into that album. And so it's, it's turning one year old on May 1st. And I'm really excited by that, which by the way, it de debuted last year on the May charts, the uh, Zone Music Reporter charts at number one. And it stayed, um, it stayed in, the, in the top 100 for a very long time. So uh, very excited for that. Thank you all for your support of uh, and with Migration. This is, uh, I've got two songs that I'll play from Migration. This one's called Hunt of the Nighthawk. Thank you. 
Next up, we have a, um, a fun song from Migration. This one's Maria's favorite. Hey, can I have some lip balm? There's a little trick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring up a different style of flute. Let's take a look. So I have here, this is a, um, a high D flute made by Rick Switzer of Rain Spirit Flutes. It's made from poplar. And then I have this other really cool flute. Uh, it's very exotic sounding. It's in the key of D also, and um, it is made from bamboo. It's a transverse flute. It has six playing holes here on the top, like our, our kind of our native style flutes do. But I'm going to play it this way, and it has a really cool scale. <laughs> So this will be played uh, on this next song as well. This one's another song from Migration. This one's called Masked Ibis. Thank you. 
How we doing out there? I'm so sad. I can't see your faces. I got spoiled over the last couple of days with um, doing Zoom uh, workshops and lessons and things like that. And I just love, that's one of the best things about performing to a live audience is I get, I, I always say I have the best seat in the house because I get to witness the moment that the music hits the people. I get to see the physical reaction that they have to the music. And I just see them sit deeper in their seats and their shoulders relax and smiles on their face or their toe tapping along. And I miss that part. So um, I know you're there in my heart. So um, thank you uh, for being here. We still have a few more songs to go. Um, one more original and then a couple of really cool songs and a really um, nice surprise by a flute maker friend of mine. So I'll tell you more about that a little bit later. This first song, or first song, <laughs> look what I said. Um, <laughs> this, this next song, boy, it's been a, a long couple of days. <laughs> Sometimes we need to take time to just uh, laugh at ourselves. This next song uh, is a song that I wrote in Iowa. Um, I grew up in Florida, the panhandle of Florida. And uh, speaking of funny things, a lot of funny things, but um, we called it LA, Lower Alabama. <laughs> because in Northern Florida, uh, we grew up on a farm with pine trees, giant deer tractors and dirt road. Um, and that, that's how I grew up. I've lived in Iowa for roughly six, seven years and uh, have survived that many winters. That's how I count them. And this morning, April 17th, we woke up to three inches of snow on our uh, everywhere, really. Um, so anyway, uh, this is one of my Iowa songs. I'm starting to write more songs about Iowa, about the experiences that I've had here in this season of my life. And uh, the name of the song is called Burning Skies because living in Florida, close to the beach, you know, you see the pretty postcards uh, with the sunsets, uh, the beach sunsets of Florida, things like that. And yes, they are beautiful. I'm not discounting that. But this one day I was driving, I was headed northbound and I just wide open fields here in Iowa. And I got to see from pitch black all the way in the east and then just this gradient from east to west of black, purple, blue, green, yellow, um, orange, pink, red, uh, all the way. And one just, my windshield just looked like one of those beautiful postcards. And I was so inspired by the sunset. So people share their sunset photos with me. Sunsets and orange dragonfly photos or any dragonfly photo that they just tag me in social media posts, Johnny thinking of your song kind of thing. So if you have any of those to share, I'd love to see them. This is called Burning Skies and my mic stand is doing funny stuff again. Is this a good time to ask for tips so I can buy better equipment? <laughs> anyway, this song is, um, I'll be playing on a flute made by John Norris. Uh, this is in the key of B flat. And the interesting thing about this particular flute um, is this is a borrowed flute. It doesn't actually belong to me, um, but this was made from a deck that I tore out of a property uh, shortly after moving to Iowa, a redwood deck. And I sent the lumber to John and I said, hey, can you make a, can you make flutes out of this? I think there's even some nail holes that he filled in or something on this. So John, this one's to you. This one's called Burning Skies.
right, folks, we're almost there. I'm gonna grab a little bit more water. This takes uh, coordination. Okay, so what I've shared with you thus far has been all original works. And now I'd like to share, take a chance on these, I guess, with uh, the Facebook and, and YouTube police. I don't know. <laughs> so I wanted to bring joy uh, to this, uh, this event, this time. And I said, what song do I know that uh, brings joy to people? And I got to go with Bob Marley. I got to go with Bob Marley. It's just got some feel good vibes. And so this is uh, Three Little Birds, Don't Worry, Not a Thing. And um, oh, I gotta get the right flute. This is really important to get the right, right flute. Otherwise things don't sound good. So um, I was talking with uh, my friend uh, Brent at Wood Sounds and he said, Johnny, I really love all the stuff that you're doing, how you're bringing the flute community together. And I, I wanna do something special with your connection concert coming up. And so just for this concert, he put together a, um, a coupon code that you can use for any of the, the classics. This is a Cedar classic of his, uh, but there are several other um, line or different models in that same line that you can purchase. So uh, you get 25% off with the coupon code CONNECTION, or if you just email them and mention that, hey, I saw this thing in Johnny's concert. Um, so I thought that was really nice of him to extend that. And uh, I'll demonstrate uh, three little birds on this. This is a F sharp flute uh, made from cedar. This is a wood sounds flute by Brent.
It's good to have a little fun. I like that song. I like all the songs, but I like the way that song makes me feel. Do you guys feel happy inside? You know, I should have wore, um, I should have had one of those Rasta hats, right? I don't know. Maybe not. Not my look. Okay, I got to recenter here. <clears throat> so I have one more, uh, one more song. And in closing, I just, I, I got to say, I, I am so appreciative of all the support um, over the last, um, really over the span of my music career. It's really meant a lot. We've gone through a lot of different things, um, some hardships, some bumps in the road, uh, and we've had a lot of victories too. We've celebrated a lot together. And um, I just, I thank you so much for um, the last concert, the donations that came in, that was very, very, um, it was awesome. And I appreciate it very much. Um, lots of my gigs have been canceled. Um, don't know if uh, live performing will happen for a while now. So we'll resort to uh, virtual performing and virtual workshops and um, sheet music and backing track sales as well. So all of those things help not only me, but my family. Um, so that is, um, that means a lot to me. I thought about how to close this and I thought about connection. And I, when I was thinking about the, the name for this concert or this event, I really wanted to bring people together. And with this song in closing, it's uh, Imagine by John Lennon. And so I know we're all going through some really unknown times right now. There's a lot of fear, um, things that are, are uh, just clouding our confidence, clouding our vision, um, spirits. And so I imagine a world of peace, a world of love, a world of health, a world of connection. And so <laughs> I'm going to try not to cry but I just want you to know how much this means to me. And so I play the song, I dedicate it to each and every one of you. Thanks for being a really vital part of, of my music um, and what I do. I, I know my purpose, my purpose is to make music and to teach people how to do things on their flute. Um, I just, I love that so much. That's my passion and my purpose. So thanks for being here today. This song's for you. This one is called Imagine.
And on that note, I give you my utmost gratitude. Thanks for taking time out of your day uh, to be with us. I know you've got other things you could do. There's lots of stuff on Netflix and Amazon Prime that you could be watching right now, but you chose to be here uh, with us. So those of you that are here on YouTube and Facebook and anywhere else, um, thank you so much. Uh, we really appreciate it. And um, we'll see what happens from here, if we're going to do another live stream or not. Uh, but do make sure that... Um, do make sure that you enter your email to get uh, the set list. I want to send you all of this music that I played because um, I want it to go beyond right now. And um, one of you will win a flute and, <laughs> and the course. And we'll do that drawing on Monday. I have all the information on the website there. And if you do decide to leave a donation uh, with me and my family, thank you. Uh, it means a lot. And... Um, I just appreciate your support so much. So we're gonna we're gonna leave you for now. This is not the end. This is until next time if we do another live stream. But follow me on YouTube uh, and Facebook. I post content there, and I'm also giving virtual workshops for those of you that are interested in taking your flute playing to the next level. There's lots of sheet music and backing tracks and all sorts of resources on my website, and um, I look forward to uh, to seeing you all again very soon. Thanks so much. Have a great night.